G'day year 7 and 8. This video I'm just going to show you how to um, sort of enhance your pictorial view if you want to make it nice and flash before you um, take the screenshot and drop it into your folio. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to make the little weight that goes across the front and it's very easy to do. I've left here between there, that's a gap of 20. Now the only thing that you need to work out is how long it needs to be. So all you, do, you need to do is measure in Come in, measure from that point, and to there, and you can see down the bottom it says 188, right? So that's all I was after. So I'll come back out and get my rectangle tool. It's going to be 188, comma 20, into that, and then I'll pull it up 20, and I'll have that little um, square prism. So up 20 there. Right, now I'm going to zoom in a bit closer, and what I'll do now, I'll get the select tool, and you can do whatever you like here, but this is just a very quick way, and I'll select that edge, and divide it by 3, I'll select that edge, and divide it by 3, and do that, get the pencil, Do the pencil there. I don't know where that one went, but I'll put it back in. And across that way. And then just draw these points across. And I don't need those other lines, so I'll just erase those now. There, so I'll zoom out a little, pan back, get the push pull tool, and just push out each of those corners. And this is easy enough to do in the workshop if you wanted if you did want to make it that shape later on too. Okay, so there's that. They're all out. Now I'll select the whole thing, make a group of it, and that's done. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put some serviettes in too. So I'm just going to make a little set of serviettes. So the box is 200 square. So the inside section, 200 minus 24 is 176. So I might make these about 170. So 170, comma, 170, that. And I'm just going to pull that up two millimeters. I'll just type in two and push enter. And I'm just going to sort of, that's going to be one serviette there. And it's not really, obviously, but I'll zoom in, get the Move tool, and I'm just going to move it from the bottom point, hit my Option button, and slide it up. So it's just now it's got two on top. Now, before you click anything else, what I'm going to do now is go to Tab, click Tab, and if you look down the bottom, it, that's highlighted the length. And if you just type in times 20, so it's just X 20, and then push Enter, It'll just build that stack for you straight away. Right, so come around like that. Let's miss that bit there, so I'll try again. Okay, so I'm going to select the whole lot, make a group of that, and now I'm just going to put it together. Okay, so to put the serviettes in, I'll turn this section on so I can see the hidden detail. Select the serviettes, move them, and bring them into there. Oops, okay, so I'll snap it in. Now that's in the corner there. If you're going close, you can see it's not actually touching some of these corners, but that doesn't matter. It's a serviette in a box, isn't it? It doesn't really matter. Right, so I'll zoom out. Now I'm going to grab the little weight and put that in. Now, having done this before, it's a bit awkward getting that to sit in the right place and to sit at the right height. So, move tool. What I'm going to do... Take one of these sides here, work out which one. Okay, so that looks like, and actually I'm going to do the one next to it, that one. Now I'm going to grab come in nice in the middle, grab that one in the middle point there, move back, then come over here, 
you should be able to get pretty close to snapping on there. And see how it's just on either side? So I'll click that now. Now sometimes you don't get the right length, so we'll see how it goes once we turn that around, orbit it around. But at least that's the correct height. Yeah, I mean, you can see there how it's coming out this side here, so I've just got to move that across a little bit. So I might just put it in the top view now. And move that again, so I'll get the move tool. And I need to move that across just there. And that looks pretty good there now. Now I'll go back to the isometric view. Turn off the hidden detail. Deselect it. So we get rid of that blue stuff. Right, that looks pretty good there. So just to finish it off now, what I'll go is Window, S Materials. Now, I might make it look like wood, so I'll get some wood. And get those different ones. And just to make the joints stand out a little bit, I'm going to use this one for these two. And the paler one for the two side bits. And I might even use that stuff there as for the flywood on the bottom, just so they all stand out. Now the one that goes across, I might use that stuff there. Right, so there's that looks okay there. That's I'm happy with that. Now I'll go back to the materials. Now with your well, with your serviettes, you know you can just pick a colour and make them a colour, and that looks good. But if you wanted to put a bit of a pattern on it, you can go to fabrics, carpet, that sort of stuff. And just go through and you might find a pattern. Some of them are, will be in the wrong size and the wrong um, scale for it. But some will look okay. That's weird. Looks like that's that one there. Let's see how that looks. That looks pretty good. I might leave that at that. Okay. Now, while you're playing with this as well, so that you know you can take the screenshot of that, drop that in, that looks good. Um, while we're at this though, just in case you want to do something different again, if you go to the styles, in case you haven't seen these, underneath, I'll get rid of that default styles, you get these sketchy edges, and that gives you a completely different look as well, and that's, you know, even if you wanted to throw that into your step-by-step -step instructions, or anyway, that, that would be fine for your pictorial view as well, because, you know, it all looks good, it looks, there's lots of options. So you can just have a look at those, play with them, pick one you like, and get that into your folio. Okay? Good luck.